Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm doing a palette bingo and I am going to use my Vivid Pigments from Color Drain and it looks like this. If you have missed it, I can link my first impression up in the corner if you want to see that. So I am doing a palette bingo and this is my first palette bingo. So I'm going to go to random.org and we will random.org it's 16 colors so I'm gonna type in 1 to 16 and then it will choose for me I think I will take four colors so one in my crease one on the outer corner of my eye in the corner and um, what is it called? So my lower lash line. So I'm going to take four numbers and four shades, four numbers, four shades. And I'm going to take all the four shades and then we will see what I'm going to do. So we will start generate. And it says, you can't see this, it says 14. So this is number one. So number 14 has to be this. This green level up. So that's my first shade. Now number 10. And that should be this one. This is unbothered. And then we generate again. Number 3. You can't see a thing. And it's this one. The blue one. And it's Jet Set. Okay, the last shade is number 5. So that is the dark purple. That is called Perp Smurf. So that's what the palette looks like now. With this palette I thought I, going, I could have one crazy colorful. Or I could have something a little more boring. Not boring. I could have got bright colors or I could have gotten dark and darker colors and I got darker colors. So we have Perp Smurf, the dark purple. Unbothered. I don't really know what to call this shade. It's a nice shade. But I don't know what it's called. And then we got Level Up. And Jet Set. And I... I can swatch them. This is some colors that I have wouldn't have picked myself. If I were to pick the colors, I wouldn't have picked those together. So these are the colors. Not the best swatches of all times really, but these are the colors. So it's Perp Smurf, Unbothered, Jet Set and Level Up. So it feels like the easy thing is to go with unbothered in my crease and then take level up and jet set on my lid and take perp smurf on my lower lash line and I think I'm going to do that okay so I will start with the unbothered in my crease and I think these two on my eyelids and lastly this one underneath my eyes I think that will be the best solution that things that look best but I'm not sure because the unbothered it's pretty dark and I don't know it's going to be too big of a contrast but we will try it and I will take some eyeshadow primer so I will start with Unbothered in my crease and I will use a new brush that I have bought. It's from BH Cosmetics. It's the first thing ever I try from BH Cosmetics. And okay, my camera cut, cut me off. I don't know why. So <laughs> I'm going to start with Unbothered in my crease. I didn't know how much I talked before it shut off. So yeah, and it's their vegan blending brush. It's called V5. I don't know if all the blending brushes 
all the brushes in the vegan collection is V. It stands for vegan maybe. I don't know, but that's not what I'm going to talk about in this video. So I'm going to try this, this brush and I'm gonna start with Unbothered in my crease. And I don't know, it's pretty wide, but it's not as wide as my, or maybe it is. It's like my usual blending brush, so we will see. I don't want this to be all over, so maybe it's a dumb idea to take a new brush, but... If I'm going to be honest, I need to clean my brushes. I haven't clean my brushes like a good clean in a while I usually use where are you I use this all the time it's you spray it it's like alcohol you spray it on and clean the brushes from colors but it's not uh, you don't clean them as much as you should so I have been pretty lazy the last couple of months with that and that's not good but this brush it was really good it was really soft and it it went really good I like this brush so the crease color is there and I think I will take I will take the green one in the outer corner of my eye and the blue one in my inner corner. So I hope this brush is clean. I will start with the green one. Now I've used this green quite a lot for being me and for being a green color. And I like it. It's it's green. <laughs> I don't know what more to say than it's green. It doesn't work together with other colors as great as I would want it to. But it's okay. It can be a little bit blurry. Not blurry, but a little bit. It loosens its, its own punch. You can't say it like that. I don't know how to describe it. On its own it's very very green, but like in my crease now it's not as green anymore. But on its own it's really really green and I like this because it's just... It's green. End of story. It's just green. It doesn't have any shimmer. It doesn't have any like purple or blue in it. I don't think it's warm or cold, it's just it's just green. It's a green shadow. And I think this is the first green that I really like. Quite a lot of fallout, but that's what it is. And then I'm going to take this blue one. This is Jet Set and I'm going to take it in my inner corner. I hope these two can work together and I think they can. Yes, they can. This has a lot of fallout as you can see, but I also pack in it on and then blend it. And these two are going really good together. It doesn't turn out to any blur or something. I really like this. And I usually don't like either blue or green. So this is... This is good. Okay, so now you can see here, I didn't have to pay it on that much. You get the same color, but with no fallout. Almost nothing fallout. So it was just me. 
I think I like this. I think I can live with this. I just don't know how to put... I want... I think I want it to be a little bit higher up the colors because I get such hooded eyes but I don't want it to be too high up because the green gets very dark on this crease color and I don't want that so I think I have to live with this I think I have to live with this. I think I can live with this. It's just when I'm looking straight forward now on you, I see in the viewfinder that it doesn't look like I have any eyeshadow on at all. Okay, so I will take away all the fallouts and I will fix my face and then we come back. I come back to put on this purple on my lower lash line so I will be back the face is on and we are going to take the last shade perp smurf and I'm going to put this on my lower lash line and I will take a little brush and I will take the palette and have the mirror inside so I can see what I'm doing and to put shadows on my lower lash line it's nothing I am good at. It usually flops. And I just look like I get tired. Mom with like five kids. I think I will put a purple pen in my waterline. Okay, what should we do for kind of lipstick to this? It feels like I want something light, but maybe not matte. Maybe I should do a butter gloss. I think I will take this. It's an intense butter gloss from NYX in the color Tre Leches. Tre Leches? Tre Leches. Yeah, not from France. This is so freaking sticky, but I think this looks somewhat okay. I just have to see if I can fix my hair. Okay, so this is the finished look. I don't know if I like it or not. I don't think that green and blue is my best colors to wear, or even purple and now I have mascara on my lower on my under eyes so <laughs> I don't know I think this is a fun idea a palette bingo because I have I would never choose these four colors to work together because these are unbothered it's this color is something that I use, but the other three colors, the colorful colors, it's colors that I don't like and I would not have chosen to do a complete look with only these three colors. So that's fun with this video idea, that I can mix something that some colors that I would have not mixed on my own, but then I don't feel really comfortable in it. It's not my favorite look at all. I don't know what I think if I'm going to be honest. I don't look like a crazy person at least. Maybe just a little bit. But this is nothing that I have chosen for myself if I have the choice to choose my eyeshadows. But I think it's a fun idea to make a palette bingo. So if you want to see more palette bingos, like this video and also comment which col which colors which palettes you want me to do a palette bingo on. So this was the Vivid Pigments from Colored Rain. And yeah, this is the finished look. I'm okay with it. I don't love it. I don't hate it. But I, yeah, I think I'm okay with the green and the blue, but not the purple because I don't think purple suits me. I don't know if that's because I'm so pale. I don't think it's a good color for me and yeah 
I'm stop babbling. I hope you liked this video and please subscribe if you don't so you don't miss any of my videos. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Who do you think you are?